Welcome teachers. Today I will be talking to you about powerful podcasts, a clarify input activity that ties a fun of podcasting with listening comprehension. My name is Lizette Ferrer, English language TOA. The outcome of today's presentation or video is that you will be able to use the clarify input activity, powerful podcasts with your students to address interrupted learning. So first we're gonna be talking about interruptive learning and clarifying input, since these are the terms that you will hear or hear about in elevation. Interruptive learning is a term that best describes how the pandemic affected our students. Classroom time was interrupted essentially. So there are many terms meaning the same thing. Some of those terms or synonyms that we hear are learning loss, unfinished learning, disrupted learning or interrupted learning. Our district has taken steps to address this through differentiated instruction, um, and that includes iReady and more support staff being hired, such as instructional um, coaches and aides and even orgs at each site amongst others. Clarify input is one of the elevation six core instructional practices it supports language acquisition and content learning. Supports for ELs to have access to grade level content and participation. And this practice focuses on the idea that a new language and content can only be learned when the learner is able to clarify, clearly understand the input. So it is the responsibility of the teacher to ensure that students' access to spoken and written language is appropriate and clear. Active activities within this practice support students with receptive inputs through listening and reading. There must be a balance between supporting and challenging, especially because of the interrupted learning they experience. Students must participate as much as possible in activities that support the four domains, which are reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Activities within the clarifying input practice support the idea of accessing and understanding complex content and language. So now I'm going to go over the elevation strategy, which is under focused listening. This activity, again, is in the clarifying input and is one amongst 25, 21 activities. And I will click on elevation and demonstrate. And again, you will go under instruction. And here are those six um, language practices, clarify input is this one here, and it will be one of the activities under fo focused listening. So if you click any of those um, there, it will take you to powerful podcasts. Supporting it with the graphic organizer and comprehension questions. To prepare for the activity, the teacher will do the following. Students will listen to a podcast, answer focused questions orally or in writing to guide comprehension, discuss content of podcast with peers. This activity supports the listening domain and it can be done whole class. This is how the teacher will go about it. You will select a relevant podcast. If possible, choose podcasts that have a transcri transcript allowing students to read along. Preview and make note of vocabulary and content challenges. Prepare comprehension questions. This might require differentiated questions to reflect language proficiency and prepare language supports as well. During the activity, discuss content and learning objectives. Pre-teach critical vocabulary and engage in any background building if needed, especially for your lower English learners. Assign podcasts and students listen independently, but you don't necessarily have to. This again can be done whole class. Students answer comprehension questions and discuss in small groups or again whole class. Engage students in class discussions of comprehension questions and content. Here's an example of how powerful podcasts can be used using the listening stories and wonders. Not everyone has access or knows of a podcast suitable for children with available transcripts. So this is a great way to use what it is available to you. Notice that in this thinking map, I already um, inserted important words 
that were used in the story for the weekend wonders. Here is an example of the story, the listening stories and wonders and how teachers can use this for powerful podcasts. And again, this can be used with your stories that you already have available. You can give them the vocabulary and pre-select comprehension questions. And you can print out the transcript of the story and that's in your TE as a modification for those lower ELs. If you're interested in engaging your students with various topics and for the upper grades, but not necessarily, um, ListenWise is a site that offers podcasts that support academic conversations through listening. You can sign up or ask your site to purchase a license for everyone interested. Your class can be added and you can assign podcasts in order for them to work on listening and comprehension. Let me go ahead and demonstrate an example of how that looks like. Here, as you can see, this is um, one of the topics or one of the podcasts. This has to do with um, kids wearing masks. The podcast will show you the Lexile audio measure. Um, it'll give you um, a quick overview of what it is. And then down here, available the transcripts that you might want to print, especially for your lower ELs. And here is how that transcript looks like. And this might be useful, especially for the lower students that don't necessarily have great listening skills. And again, this is how your thinking map looks like. And it will be ideal if the teacher uh, pre and inserts any comprehension questions that, they, that you, you would like for them to answer as they are listening to the podcast, as well as any important words. I'm also gonna go back and show you how this activity looks like um, through elevation. Since you do have access, um, you also have the thinking map or the organizer available to you, as well as a video that shows how you can go about the activity or just in general to get an idea of how it looks like in the classroom. The road is completely blocked by a berm of blackened lava rock, maybe 10 feet in height. Powerful Podcast is an activity in which students can listen to a podcast in order to build content understanding. To prepare for this activity, I select a relevant podcast. I also create discussion questions and comprehension questions to go along with the podcast. To begin this activity, we start by previewing any vocabulary. From there, I play the audio. Students will then take notes. The volcano has opened up more than a dozen fissures in and around the semi-rural housing division. After that, students will listen to the podcast a second time. When I'm playing the podcast a second time, students will have the transcripts with them. So they can either highlight any of the vocabulary words that we went over as well as edit their answers. Mariana. Life in a Hawaiian evacuation center is hard because there isn't enough clothes and food. At the very end, we go over the questions as a group and then students break off to discuss the discussion questions. I agree with Damien because if you live near an active volcano, it might erupt and you might get really hurt. I agree with what Damien said because what if the volcano destroys the evacuation center and you have nowhere to go? Other variations to this activity include having students individually listen to podcasts, especially if they have a specific interest. To support my ELs, I play the audio for the podcast at a slower pace. Students also receive sentence stems on some of their graphic organizers, and you can also differentiate questions. In addition, students also receive transcripts to help them with comprehension. I would highly recommend a powerful podcast to teachers because it helps students practice their listening skills while engaging them in understanding content. I hope that you give it a try and support your students' listening skills and try it. Um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or uh, need any further support, feel free to reach me. This is my email address and my extension. 
Thank you and see you again next time. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.